Good morning. Today is October 10, 2022, and today's theme is Annoy the Player. A lot of times when I play chess, I like to make moves that's annoying to the other player. And this is basically a kind of like psychological warfare, where I make moves that's the most annoying player. So it's not that it's the best move or the perfect move or the most destructive move, but it's the one that not the player like what what would you do that and because then i will have to have trouble doing this 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 and it slows the opponent down and hopefully he'll make a blunder as we'll see in this game he did make a blunder so let's uh, begin with puzzles uh, i have five today and <coughs> this is the first one Bishop has just taken the knight at g8. Uh, That's what I do. Next one. The king has just castled. What should I do? Next one, the queen has just moved to b5. What should I do? Next one, the king has just moved to h2. What should I do? Let's begin. Uh, the opening is basically Owen defense. Other variation. This is Owen defense. I'm having to think like maybe this defense has different names or something. But I like the other variations. It basically means this is not too popular. And hopefully. And hopefully uh, my opponent will not have enough time to prepare for this thing. This is an example of an annoying move over here. Over here, this one, bishop goes there. And you look at the pawn over here. That's pretty unusual. This does have a weakness, this pawn right here. Yeah, it can be taken by the bishop. But I just keep pushing and pushing. And suddenly the pawn is safe. So that's... an kind of annoying because what have plans to capture free points suddenly cannot do it anymore so take, take that move and here I'm preparing to trap the bishop over here so this is the first puzzle what cannot stand it anymore and he takes the knight Basically trying to complicate matter a little bit over here. And also kind of like a deflection. Because as you notice this one over here. Is cut by the rook. And if the rook takes this one. Which I do of course. The queen can take this one. And check shot. He's basically going to do that just to annoy me. So we basically try to annoy each other really. So that's one that's one way to do it. I can well I cannot block this one right uh -huh. and there's nothing else I can do so move the king. Another check. This is I, I do this because I want to connect the rook over here. And let's check and capture and capture and basically trying to isolate the pawn over here so that's that pawn gets isolated this is puzzle number two so i can move the knight here or i can move the knight here 
and if I move the knight here, this pawn cannot be defended. If I move the knight here, I have my choice between these two pawns right here. So, so this one is a mistake. I should I should have moved it either here or there, but this one I did it here, and this is a mistake. So you can tell by the evaluation plus eight. So white is winning very very well. Next move over here. I don't want to take the knight uh, here because basically what it allows white to do is to hook up the pawn over here and that, that and if I take the knight I cannot attack the pawn so it's going to be make my life miserable so I just take the pawn over here and white saw this tactical combination and that's what he did take that take that take that equivalent exchange material wise but evaluation goes lower to five from eight to five so so that's that and over here this is plus ten so the queen just moved there over here and suddenly evaluation is plus three <coughs> so obviously what make a mistake over here that uh, he could have had a good advantage but did not do so what would it be the answer is right here trying to open up the pawn over here and attacking the king with the rook so that's that's basically what what should have done what did not do so however so what did that one so next move This is to connect the rook. This is basically white trying to activate the rook without, you know, having moving the rook. So try to exchange the pawn with this pawn right here. So try to exchange the pawns. Got the queen. Got the queen, and this is puzzle number three. So the normal situation would be to just uh, queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, and basically white has this thing over here and like endangered. So I could have done this one uh, and this one. I just not to do so. So once the queen threaten to trade, I said, well, let's forget about the queen and just keep moving over here. So, trade queens, and this pawn is in danger of being taken, so I move this thing over here, cut the pawn, and this is uh, this is puzzle number four over here. I guess you can skip that. So the like the pawn is in danger of being captured over here. So the rook is guarding over here and the question is what should I do? And of course <coughs> this pawn is a target so the answer is to just move the rook over there. So got the rook there. This at first plus did not threaten anything, but I have a tactical advantage over here because right now bishop is not doing anything. That bishop is just sitting there. So I have, practically speaking, at in this position I have an extra bishop. White bishop is totally ineffective. Mesh will not be there. So next move, and that's positioning. The computer says to 
just move it over here. The reason to for that is because the king can move here and threaten the rook that way. And this is like I said, threaten to pop that pawn over there. And I decided not to worry about it. Let's, let's keep the pawn over there as a blockage to the rook. And that's the point of moving the rook to this square over here. So I can have this thing over here. So that, that pawn is going to be gone regardless. Now this pawn is being in danger. And I could have just taken the rook over here and suddenly that pawn is safe and the rook is cornered and the bishop is cornered but remember that I'm trying to annoy white so this is what I did suddenly this pawn and this pawn become both targets so this one over here takes a pawn and check and evaluation is zero over here this is a drawn position basically what can, can happen and what should happen is that bishop take bishop bishop take bishop and then what uh, move here and pretty much just uh, go here and this is actually made because you know I you can do this and there so oh no no it's not made so basically just go back and forth over there or I can go this way and over there and take that <coughs> And of course, I could have taken the rook over there also. Take that. But basically, the idea is for me to just go and annoy the white king over there. So, so really, that, that this is a drawn position. And, uh, this is a drawn position right here. So, this is a drawn position right here. This, however, this position, however, which is the answer, uh, which is the puzzle number five, plus puzzle, is not a drawn position. You can tell this is minus 58. So the answer to this puzzle is this one over here. Check. Check. Queen takes bishop and mate. So that's the answer to the last puzzle. The alternative, which is over here, is not good either because you get to do this, and like that's me right there. So have to sacrifice this rook no matter what. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.